beautiful. It got sweet to her. It's okay, baby. Alright guys, so welcome back here to day two of the elk hunt. First day we were out. We didn't really see too much. We were just mostly scouting. Doing the same exact process as what we're doing right now. We're using the razor to go in the back country to really, you know, break property apart sort of and really cover ground rather than us walking because you can't really get the truck up to, too well up on some of these mountains. The back country is a little rough. So we're using that to hopefully find a group of elk. About 16 bull were last spotted up here about a week ago. One of the hunters had a good opportunity chance at a nice six by six. So that's what we're gonna be doing. We have three hunters and me. I'm going to be doing the filming and we'll see how well it goes. Other than that, uh, it's just another day here in Wyoming, elk hunting. Uh, if you guys enjoy this little episode, don't forget to subscribe and check out all the other videos we have on elk hunting or whitetail or you know coyote hunting. We actually just recently posted some trapping and coyote hunting videos. So, and with that being said, I hope you guys enjoy the, today's episode of uh, elk hunting here on the great northeast part of Wyoming. See you up there. First couple, couple deer sign way on top of this ridge over here. Can't tell exactly what they are. Maybe, you know, looks to be all doe. It's really hard to tell, but there's, but there's one back there that I'm not sure what it is. That's just real on top. That's what we're looking for right now. So it's kind of hard to make out what they are. But they're about 500 yards away. All right, we just pulled on top of this ridge, around the other side of a bunch of these draws that we're hoping the elk. The elk haven't quite reached the, in these zones yet, so hopefully we we just beat them to it. However, they might be on top of or above a couple of those ravines where we where we are specifically targeting them. So we're just gonna hold up here a little bit and wait them out, get down below the uh, crest a little bit, start glassing for maybe an hour or two, or you know however long it takes to really figure out the, uh, you know, if there's any animals out here or not. But it might take a little bit, might not take a little bit. We have pl plenty of land to work with, with the side-by-side -side glass and whatnot, but so far, this is a phenomenal place for ambushing elk. If you can get here before they do, if you're set, and if your, your noise, your voices, and also the machinery noise stays away from where they're at, we're golden. Right now, just walking, there's a little flat table almost right above me. And as you walk down on the left hand side or the right hand side, there's a bunch of these pine trees and hemlocks. What I'm trying to do is get down really low, like this, into glass over on the other side. I'm hoping we do that. Maybe sneak up on an elk. Over here just found some fresh deer poop. Elk poop.
Well guys, <laughs> unfortunately we didn't really see too much while we were up on that uh, state game lands, but we're gonna go up to our spot number two. This spot, we didn't see any elk, but we did see about six to seven different deer. All doe, um, at least from what we could tell. No buck, um, no bull, and no cow elk. Uh, we did also see some scat. I'll throw a picture of this the scat up here a little bit. The scat was semi-fresh. Um, I could still squish it, it wasn't completely hard, which tells me it was, you know, fairly, you know, fairly new, but we're off the second dairy spot where recently about a hundred head of, 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 uh, of elk were recently spotted up on the mountains. These are heading into state game land, so we're, we're going to think about going up there and hopefully, you know, waiting them out, maybe if they'll come by, but, you know, we'll see how it goes. That was spot number one. Oh yeah, there's over 100 there. It's probably 150. Yep. Dang, yeah, that's, that's a lot of elk. Price. Here, two of them right there. Go back two. two or three of them in there. Yeah. Yeah. So, so if you go straight to the like as equal equal. Deer, yeah, it almost looks like it's a buck with its big, big, big ears. Yeah, nice tail. Very cool. All right. Unfortunately, we're not after mule deer. No. It's a tall buck. Yeah, like, unfortunately, we're not after mule deer. No. It's not on this side. Yep. We got a survivor so far. There you have it guys, that's end of day two. I know it might not have been too exciting for some people. We did see some elk, we did see some mule deer, and a few other trail creatures on our little excursion on the razor in the back country. Uh, unfortunately, we didn't get a chance to shoot any elk. Most of the elk were on private property, about a quarter mile off of uh, public ground. Now, if they were on public ground, we might have been able to hike up there and shoot them, but most of those were actually bedded down, not really wanting to move from that property based upon food and, and less stress. Um, well, we, but we might be out here again, I'm not sure exactly on the situation, the schedule and everything, but you know, with that being said, if you guys do wanna see more episodes like this and more episodes in the back country of Wyoming, hunting, fishing, or doing whatever, subscribe to Antler Pursuit. We will be back here very shortly. And until next time, enjoy.